decision to invest during the, the very steep recessionary period that unfortunately we've all endured. And of particular impact was the general aviation business. Um, over the last five years, we've invested over $100 million in our facilities. We've continued to invest in state-of-the-art technology through our Signet system, in customer relationship management technology, which no other FBO network has today. We're very excited about the fact that as a network, we've continued to invest in new acquisitions. We have significant capital resources to be able to grow. And we feel as a company and under BBA stewardship that this is actually the right time for us to be investing. I think we're evidence of investment in the future. Uh, by the time we certify the Legacy 450, which comes one year after the Legacy 500, Embraer will have invested $800 million in new products and customer support over the last seven years. Uh, that's a phenomenal amount of investment. I, I don't think anybody has seen that level of investment. And that hopefully secures our future. We, uh, we'll continue investing and we don't want to stop there. We're, we're continually building on our customer support and that's the direction that we're heading. We're now rolling out our first own mobile app that's geared towards broken operators so that they can search for an aircraft if they are away from their computer. Uh, it's a beta test here at the show. We've shown it about a hundred times and have had very positive feedback. We strongly believe that there is a lot of opportunities to make the industry more efficient. I mean, there's 30% to 40% of empty aircraft flying around. Uh, we believe that, of course, new jets on the market are important. But we also believe that operators need to invest in technology to distribute their availability, to work closer with their uh, owners, to work closely with the clients, to take opportunities when an aircraft is transient, when it's flying empty, uh, as well as m make sure that you know how to market it, where to market it. You need to be looking at adding more aircraft, as well as how you organize uh, internally, as well as sometimes rethink your business model. We know that owner approvals is one of the hardest thing that holds back the industry in time to maximize the effort. Investment in this sector is critical and I think if you look at what Bombardier has done for many, many years, crisis or no crisis, we've invested in our future and you, you see that just by looking around the, the static display here. We've got the new Learjet 7075, we've got the new Learjet 85, we've introduced Global 5000 Vision, Global 6000 Vision. We have a new 7,000 Global and 8,000 Global coming. Um, incredible investment in, in the future. And in this business, if you don't continue to, to invest and you don't continue to make a, a new product offering, then you get left way behind. I couldn't really understand why we haven't done business together in the past, <laughs> but it, uh, we really didn't know each other very well. That's right. And over the last couple of years, I think we've gotten to know each other mm -hmm. very, very well. We saw each other in, uh, you know, that we had the right products for the future, that we were putting putting money in, in development where, where it was important. And indeed, the signature series is kind of testament to that. This was kind of done in partnership. It's a magnificent airport. Very much so. This kind of business jet is a very unique tool to make business more efficient and also make the people's life better. So this tool is kind of necessary tool to improve our society. So if you take a look at 10 years, 20 years, this market should grow. And I understand this you know, uh, size of segment is closely related to economic condition and if you take a look at the short term, it might, it might be affected by economic condition, but we are looking for five years, ten years, and based upon the uh, like economist prediction, you know, world economy 
still has a growth potential. So I think uh, I, I'm not so pessimistic. I can be optimistic. Well, Asia is a bit different, I think, you know, Asia is still growing. Uh, yes, it might not grow as fast as people have been expecting or as China has done in the last, uh, you know, 30 years. But it's still positive growth. It's still, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10 percent growth. You have Philippines is growing almost two digit. You have Indonesia, huge markets, a lot of people. Uh, Indonesia has 300 million people. You know, Philippines has 100 million people. There is China with 1.3 billion people. So that market is creating, you know, wealth opportunities, uh, is, uh, you know, creating as well a demand for business jets. People start seeing the benefits of private jets and business jets, so they're buying. And since there is nobody today, almost nobody, with uh, supporting infrastructure uh, and services for uh, business jets, there's great opportunity. So I think whoever is in China today or in Asia today, you know, uh, will have in the long term definitely you know, great opportunities in the growing market. So for us, it's just to be there right at the beginning. Uh, and invest in that market because there's nothing existing. It's not about like in Europe where you say, okay, it's maybe a down cycle and then you need to come to invest now. Uh, I, I would think Asia is just a completely different ballgame. Well, the turndown of the marketplace in 2009 obviously had a large impact on exhibitors. Uh, and so we went through a fall off. Since then, we've seen it build. And to this year, we're over 1,100 uh, exhibitors, basically on par where we were last year in Las Vegas. So again, quite strong numbers. We know that policy follows perception. So it's important that we get the accurate and true perception of who we are out there. Sometimes it gets through, sometimes it doesn't. But what we are seeing is that a number of members of Congress in both parties and on both uh, the House of Representatives and the Senate are understanding that and coming forward as public supporters of ours. The people that are in this industry recognize that there will be economic cycles and our industry will follow those economic cycles. But they've also learned that investing in new products and equipment during downturns can be very important to take advantage of the turnaround. And I think we've seen that from the number of new products that are coming to market and some of the announcements that we're seeing here. Thank you.